going on YouTube? It's your boy Disogayish coming back with another Suron X ride video. Hanging with the BASCs, Bay Area Suron crew. You know how we do. Out here in Alameda slash Oakland. About to go have a little bit of fun. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, remember what you need to do. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what it is. It's a uh, sunny day here in California. Not very hot, but uh, nice enough to go out. It was raining yesterday, so hopefully it's not too soggy in the, the off-road section here. We got Oakland Airport right there in front of us. Got some jets taking off. Some clouds over there in the distance. And of course, some wind over here by the bay water. My boy Samil in the short sleeve. My man Ryan in the front. On the Frank and Ryan. And the OG Mike with the Saron. Now Mike got the upgraded controller, the 4000. Haven't got to ride it yet, but it sounds good. My boy Samil and Mike got the uh, chain conversions. So their bikes sound hella good right now. I'm not gonna lie. I got the chain conversion too, but I got the, the low version, so I have to get a sprocket in order to make it work. So I'm just waiting on that in order to get mine installed, but I can't wait. It makes the bike sound hella nice. Way better than the 420 chain. And better than the belt, to me, honestly. Uh, I mean, the belt is quietest. Keeps your bike as quiet as it's gonna be, but uh, there's something about the way that this bike sounds. It, it, yeah, that sounds nice. This is gonna be mostly street. Not a whole lot of off-road today. I'm actually going to take you guys over to the uh, Alameda Naval Ship Yard. Check out a couple of uh, naval ships. The USS Hornets over there, I believe. A couple of other ones. Should be a really nice and easy ride today. Nothing too crazy. It's definitely colder than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know how my man right here is doing it with no uh, no sweater on, no nothing. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so that's probably what that system right there is coming in over the mountains. Probably should have bought a sweater. I do have a heated vest on. I don't know if you guys have uh, got yourself one yet. I highly recommend. At least to keep your, uh, your midsection nice and warm. 
Ready for winter riding. And mine is lightweight. I can actually put it underneath clothes and uh, wear it as a layer, so it's perfect. If you guys don't have one, I'll go ahead and drop the link in the description for the one that I got. Uh, I don't have any affiliate links, so, you know, it's just me giving you guys some game. If you want it, take it. If not, it's up to you. But, uh, yeah, if you're doing any kind of winter riding, I would highly recommend getting yourself a, a heated vest. I'm trying to find some heated gloves. I'm having a hard time. Uh, I found a couple, but they're a little too thick. I want, like, I don't know, something like these, but heated. If you guys know anything, do me a favor. Drop a comment down below. Let me know. Because I am looking for some heated gloves. So this is Alameda here. We're actually going to go past the, uh, the old Oakland Raiders headquarters. Used to be one of my favorite places to go when I came over here. Huge Raider fan. I still rock with them even though they're in Vegas right now. This is it right here. Obviously, they've taken down all the signage and everything, but yeah, man, I, this used to be the spot right here. What did Al Davis say? Just win, baby. Looks like they're doing a lot of construction over here in Alameda. A lot of like uh, science laboratories come popping up now. good for business so I'm gonna be having a uh, tutorial video coming out soon another one um, really excited about it on a subject that I haven't really seen on the uh, internet YouTube uh, covered very well so uh, oh. Looking forward to being one of the first people that can uh, give you guys game on what I'm going to be showing you. So I'm looking forward to that. That should be coming out soon. Uh, you guys seem to like the last one I did. So I'm going to do another one. Try to keep this one a little shorter. But obviously give you guys enough information where I think you're going to know how to do what I'm telling you to do on your own. So make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. Check out that video coming up shortly. Can't wait for that one to drop. Bay Area Restaurant Crew has a, uh, a big ride with, uh, I don't know the name of dude's, dude's uh, little outfit. Saran buy and save or I don't I don't know but uh doing a big ride in Berkeley this this Sunday unfortunately I'm not going to be able to make it my woman don't play that shit so I'm going to be taking care of her but uh really excited hopefully there's going to be a lot of footage on the internet uh there's going to be a special guest there I don't know if I'm supposed to say his name, so I'm not going to say it. But again, hopefully there's going to be a lot of footage uh, to let you guys know who was out here. A little disappointed that I'm not going to make the ride. But, uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do, man. Looks like a golf course over there. Fun fact, your boy does play some golf. Of 
quick nine, even at 18 sometimes. I don't think I've ever played here though. Seems like a major street, so I'm trying to keep my focus on the cars behind me. Crossing over into Oakland now. Oakland Coliseum is right there. Home of the A's. Previous home of the Raiders. This is Alameda Beach, shoreline, that's the beach there. But when it's sunny and hot in the East Bay in the summertime, this is where it goes down at. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of sand here. And some people might find it dirty. But it's our beach, so this is where we go. So my boy Mike here, he's the one that I uh, traded my RX for. You guys should see what he did to that bike, man. It's amazing. Obviously a little jealous, but what are you going to do? I'm not mad. I'm on the Suron. Yeah, but he flipped the RX and uh, turned it into something else. Say we're probably averaging about 20, 25 miles an hour. Not doing anything too crazy. Staying off the sidewalks for you guys. Uh, looks like homeboy had a S2. I thought it was an RX. Probably a little more than halfway where uh, where we're headed. Probably a little more than halfway there already. How you like it? There's a lot of bikers out here. They don't like uh, they don't like electric vehicles. I don't know. I don't recognize them. No, me neither. There's more and more of them coming though every day. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it's over now. Don't get to me, day, cause it's over now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, turn it back around. Sorry guys, got carried away there a little bit. That's for the Patreons, that's for the Patreons. <laughs> got a bunch of ships out there in the bay right now waiting to get offloaded. Seems to be an issue right now. Taking hella long to get these uh, vessels unloaded, the product onto the streets. Old school right here. Where are you going, man? 
He's going to take the streets. Huh? Oh, you got another one? You got some red ones? Yeah. Damn it, I put my mirror on. So good. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get them just from a bike shop, right? Yeah, bike shop. I got them from a bike shop, yeah. Oh. The red ones look good with the handlebars. Yeah, I ride on there all the time. Oh, yeah? Hell yeah, I don't be tripping. Well, we oh, he's stuck in the streets, but yeah, we gotta go. We're going around that way. Well, he's worried about the. He's worried about uh people. Got cars behind us now, so we gotta be extra careful. He's on a Ducati. Those always sound good. Portion of the daytime YouTube for all my Surron riders. Did anybody cop the uh, seat extender or peg extenders? I saw those came out last week sometime. The seat extender going for about 109 or or 90 uh, stainless steel without the paint, and I think the peg extenders are going for like 69, no paint. 80 with the paint. How do you guys feel about them? Did you check them out? Did you guys get them? Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I have not got them yet. I was thinking about them. I'm 5'11 and about three quarters. And you know I'm gonna count every single little half inch of that shit. Uh, so this bike is a little small for me. I was definitely thinking about getting them. I was a little apprehensive about the uh, peg extenders only because I was scared they were going to bring the pegs down too low. Um, my boy Mike said that he already heard, found out that they only dropped the pegs about an inch. Which isn't very low, but it is still kind of low. Um, but the seat extender definitely had my attention. I don't know, yesterday or the day before, saw a post about the, the Luna seat extenders and unfortunately it doesn't seem like they thought about it enough. Um, the latch they give you for your battery in order for it to lock is exposed and uh, apparently it doesn't look good. So I think I'm going to hold off on those as well, wait for them to fix that. Damn, what is this, a little junkyard? Look at the... The car was up on the side right there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to probably wait a little bit to get them. Uh, but I was definitely looking at them just because this bike is a little, uh, little small. The wind is picking up now. Oof. But yeah, if you guys can do me a favor, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know how what you guys think about them. If you're going to get them. If not, if not, why not? I really like hearing from you guys. My last video got a couple comments. I'm not going to tell you how juiced I got off of that. Really appreciate it. Appreciate you guys for, you know, participating. I do this for you. So...
Looks like they're doing a motorcycle safety training over there. Definitely recommend it for anybody that uh, is thinking about riding a motorcycle. Shit, even an e-bike. Please go take you a uh, safety course. Make sure you guys know what you're doing. That you're comfortable. The worst thing you can do is get out, get out here, get on one of these powerful bikes and then uh, freak out not know what you're doing or you know, forget what you're doing. Looks like we're here. I'm going to get you guys back. Hey, you see the uh, Rurock is uh, releasing the Atlas 3 now? Rurock is releasing the Atlas 3? Yeah, that's all the uh, ad today. Comes out uh, end of March. Yeah, in case you guys didn't know, if you were uh, thinking about getting you a Rurock Atlas helmet, uh, specifically probably the 2.0, or maybe even the 1.0, because I'm sure they're both going to go on sale here shortly. Looks like uh, Rurock is going to be releasing the Atlas 3.0 at the end of March. I know a lot of uh, e-bikers are more interested in the... Uh, what is it, the RGX1 or you know, the snow helmet? Some people like the Berserker. But if you're going to spend that kind of money on a helmet, I'd probably just go ahead and get the, the actual legit motorcycle helmet. And that's the Atlas. So whenever we're on uh, major streets or uh, really any street, if they don't have a bike lane, I'm going to go ahead and take the whole lane. Make sure everybody knows that uh, there's a bike in this lane. So a lot of these homes here in Alameda are, are old school colonials like that. I, I think that's what they're called. I'm not exactly sure. But there is a lot of uh, history here, I'll say. And I think they, like, they kept it like that on purpose. Um, they don't really like a whole lot of building of new, you know, Walmarts, superstores, Targets, and stuff like that. They want to keep the mind and pop here. It reminds me a lot of the East Coast. Nice little garden over here. What is this on? Central and Willow. My girl loves plants. I'll have to bring her back over here because I'm not sure she knows about that place. And she would like that. Second question of the day, YouTube. Today is Friday, February 12th. That means Sunday is Valentine's Day. What's everybody doing on Valentine's Day? It's 2021. I'm here in California. Everything is still not opened up here. Um, obviously, I understand it's different everywhere else. But uh, drop a comment down below. You know how this works. Let me know. What's everybody's plans for Valentine's Day 2021? Me personally, uh, we got the new South African strain out here where I live, so I'm, I'm going to keep take it easy. Uh, I'm going to go get my girl a really, really nice dinner. Uh, we're going to do a kind of light dinner at the house. Obviously flowers, obviously candy, obviously a card. That goes without question. And uh, I'll post this after Thanksgiving, so I'll let you know when I'm going to get her. Um, I just told you guys, she's a plant girl, woman. So uh, I will be getting her one of her favorite plants. Uh, some of these are pretty expensive. Some of them aren't. Uh, but hopefully I can get her the one that she really, really wanted. And uh, I'm sure that's going to make her really, really happy. Uh, for me, personally, I think Valentine's Day is more about being uh, thoughtful, 
than about being uh, expensive or, you know, how much money am I spending on you? Uh, when you've been with somebody for multiple years, uh, you don't have to play that game anymore. But I still think that you need to take the time out to be thankful and, and thoughtful for uh, the person that you love. So, uh, yeah, that's my plans. What are your guys' plans? Drop a comment down below. Let me know.